Hi everyone, we're going to talk about the options to print and chart in Excel that are available in Hydrogeo Enlist. First, let's start with printing to Excel. If, for example, you need to print tables of data, perhaps preparing an appendix for a report, you can quickly and easily print your query to an Excel template. Simply select this icon and you'll be prompted to select the template. Some templates will come with the HGA installation, but of course you can adjust these templates to suit your project needs. Here I'm going to use a template I made for an appendix and you can see Excel will open up, the template will load, and the data from your query will also load. Now you can quickly format any minor things you want and then print it off from Excel. Now let's look at charting to Excel. If you have time series data you would like to chart in Excel, you now have a quick and simple way to do that. From the results of your query, select this icon and you will be prompted to select the template. Again, some will be included in the HGA installation, but you can adjust and save as many different templates as you need. Now select the series grouping. In this case, I'll use the name of the stations, the time field, and the value you want to chart. When I select OK, Excel will open up, the template will be displayed and automatically generate the time series chart. As you can see, each station has its own series line. You'll also notice that the data from your query has been exported to the data tab, which is what the chart is based on. Again, you can make any minor changes you want and then print it off right from within Excel. Now what if you had a little more complicated situation, like if you needed to make multiple charts? You can do this by using the chart grouping option. For this example, I'll use a query that pulls concentration data for several stations for both BTEX and TCE values. So I'm going to use a different template that I made for these charts. As before, I'm going to select the series grouping, which is the station name, the time, as well as the value. But now I need to add the chart grouping. I'm going to base it on the chemical name. So when you select OK, you'll see that Excel will open up but you'll actually have multiple sheets. So you can see that there's a chart for BTEX as well as for TCE, and there's also data tabs for each of these charts. Again, you can make minor changes to format things the way you want, and then print things directly from within Excel. Now, as I mentioned, we provided some templates within the HGA installation. The first time you launch HGA after installing, you'll be prompted to save these templates. The default location is to save them under My Documents Hydrogeo Analyst Templates Office, which is fine if you're the only one who's going to use these templates. But if, for instance, you're from a larger company, you want to organize them to be saved on a server where everyone can use them, you can find these settings by selecting Project HGA Settings and then select the Template Files tab.